Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll see the architecture which is possessed by the wireless local area network that is WLAN. And so there are three major components which comprises in the WLAN that is we have the access point or access points APs. Then you have the clients and then you have the bridge. So uh, this is how the architecture of a typical WLAN looks like. So uh, here on this left hand side, you can see n number of clients having different IPs. So these IPs are private IP addresses assigned by each of the user. So this can be assumed like user 1, this can be assumed like user 2, user 3, user 4 uh, in a similar fashion. And then you have some kind of firewall or uh, infrastructure which is there. So which is uh, just connected uh, over this wired interfaces and there is one access point which is uh, at the center which is uh, connecting all these clients and so it has also got one uh, private IP address which is also assigned by the user. So this can be assumed like a routing device which is there kept at the uh, building uh, where all the users can access or at the office where all the clients can uh, be uh, accessing over a centralized network. And then you have a bridge which is connecting to the uh, internet which is there. So internet has also got a ISP address uh, which is assigned by the internet service provider that is for example we have taken 172.21.15.105. So uh, this is the architecture so it's a simple architecture. Now let's understand the uh, different components included in it. So we have the very major uh, component in this that is we have the access point which is called as the AP. So it is a routing device which is used to transmit the data between the wired and the wireless network devices. So uh, here you have n number of uh, wireless devices and uh, here you may have a wired or a wireless setup. So uh, access point uh, basically is just a mediator which is used to transmit the data between this wireless and the wired systems. And so it is connected with uh, wired devices like you have the uh, Ethernet. So different uh, coaxial cables or optical uh, fiber cables might be there in order to just connect these different devices. And so uh, this you can see as a part of an infrastructure. Uh, therefore, you follow an infrastructure mode of uh, topology for this entire network. And so here one AP can serve a small group of network and it works more efficiently in that particular small region or small locality. And so uh, if it operates within a very small group, then it can operate up to within less than 100 feet. So uh, in order to just extend your coverage or in order to just uh, uh, broadcast your uh, more services to over a large area, you can just enhance the number of APs that is access points in your network. Next we have the client. So clients could be uh, anything from this. It can be a personal computer or it can be notebook or it can be Chromebooks or a mobile device or even laptops which are linked with wireless network area. So uh, it's just a collaboration of different uh, wireless devices which you use to do your data transfer. Next we have a bridge. So it is a special connector which uh, connects this uh, linking devices with wired and wireless devices. And so it serves as a point of control in the WLAN. So well that was all regarding this video in WLAN architecture. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found out educated watching this video, please do like, share, comment and if you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribing. Thank you very much for watching this video.